Hi, this is Claire French coming to you from, hello, my studio with Bow Arts in Thamesmead. Um, that's enough of me now. I can't really wangle the camera terribly well. I'm a painter, not a filmmaker, as you probably can tell. Um, yeah, so I graduated from City and Guild's Fine Art in 2018, two years ago, um, and have been luckily working since as a part-time technician at City and Guild's. Um, I'm furloughed at the moment, like many of us, and um, obviously the upside of that is that I get to spend a lot more time in my studio, which I have to show you the view. is a fabulous new studio out at Thamesmead with Bow Arts, uh, who provide very cheap and lovely guardianship flats for us at the same time. So. Um, yeah, I'm very lucky. So I've been able to be in my studio over lockdown. Uh, one of the things I'm working on at the moment is a new series or body of work called Radley, um, which is the name of my block uh, that I live in. I often use architectural beginning starting points, although not usually so literally, but this work is um, being developed for a joint show with two other artists who quite specifically or explicitly look at architectural space in different ways. So I'm using this as a chance to see what happens when I explore something, you know, when the, when the um, initial reference is maybe more clear. So I often start with endless drawings and repeats and so on. My work's all about repetition and the transformation of repetition or small banal actions or shapes. Um, so I often actually cut out hundreds of versions of shapes or a pattern like these and use them to form other patterns or create their own repeats. So things like this are all from the initial starting point of that picture that I showed you, that one, done in repeat and copied and stenciled and turned into other things. That's another version. Um, I'm trying to use this opportunity to draw more as well, which is something I've always, I've always thought I'm not a drawer. So I'm very much trying to find a way to get drawing into my practice at the moment. So the thing I'm doing at the moment is based on these versions um, of layers of stencils. I think there's more there. I think I worked out there's 62 possibilities or 64 possibilities. <laughs> there's my chart. <laughs> I'm nothing if not methodical, of layering these um, the stencils three times around. So here are some little boards that they're going to be on. So I'm gessoing these small boards, which is how I usually work. Um, they've just been sized or primed with a layer of rabbit skin glue, which is in my lovely saucepan. Ouch, that's hot over here. Um, once I've done the other side, I will add the, uh, the chalk dust and the whiting sorry there, to this mixture and then that becomes my gesso, which gets painted on and sanded and all for many, many layers. So that's what I'm thinking about with that one. I've got a text piece on the go as well. I've got an ongoing series which has taken many different forms called At First Sight, which is transposing or transcribing a text into squares. So every square or mark represents a letter in the text and the spacings in the text. Um, to give you a sense of that, that's the size of those tiny squares. There's my hand. And I'm gonna actually start a larger drawing over here on the wall of squares that size, so that I have something crazy and big to keep myself going as well. That's very handy for when the gesso's drying. Anyway, maybe that's enough for now, but it's really nice to be in my space. It doesn't look very tidy, but it's quite organized. To be in my space, making my boards, stirring at my saucepan like I'm cooking something up, and yeah, doing lots of drawing. 